and it is day four now we're doing defensive badges and rebounding badges these should be kind of fun because a lot of them are kind of uh one's not really way better than the other i don't know if we'll see any useless ones i have to kind of go through them but uh, let's get into it okay so first off i guess we'll do box box i'll put at probably b box is decent um you don't exactly need it if you are kind of keen to what happens when you box somebody out if you hold your stick to the side then that person will try to go around you on that side to box you out and even if you don't have box if you just match them and you hold the stick to that direction as well then you will just kind of cut them off so box is not really something that you super super need if you watch the animations although if somebody does have glass cleaner takeover they can just throw you out of the way if you do not have it but that doesn't really happen often i don't really see that being a a thing that you worry about when you're uh, choosing not to get that badge and next we'll have worm which i will put right there as well it's just the counter to box it's just what i was talking about a second ago you're able to step around your defender who's trying to box you out so that you can get offensive rebounds they kind of go hand in hand so they're both going to set up b now clamps i'm going to put this a everybody can benefit from clamps a lot of people uh, use the perimeter anytime somebody's dribbling or trying to make a move on you from the perimeter clamps is going to help so that's basically the entirety of 2k so you want clamps intimidator i'm going to put this s for obvious reasons if it's not obvious to you intimidator basically just gives your character an aura where anybody around that aura just doesn't make shots at the same percentage as they would if you didn't have Intimidator. A lot of people hate that this badge is in the game, including me. It kind of rewards you for playing badly. Let's hope it's not in 2K21. Now, Pogo Stick. I will also put this into A, although I would put it in between A and B if I could, which I can. I can obviously add more ranks and stuff, but I don't want this entire page to be me scrolling up and down. Pogo Stick is another badge that allows you to play bad defense. If you jump at somebody who is pump faking, or maybe you're just jumping to jump in the first place, you you can just jump right back up and have absolutely no repercussions so it lets you get away with playing poorly uh, but it is very beneficial i hate it but it is an a tier badge lightning reflexes will probably be one of the worst badges for defense i'm kind of debating f you know what I'm, i'll go f nobody should use this uh, it's not really going to help you i kind of want to just glance over it but what you do is with lighting reflexes you get an arrow that says whether your guy's going left or right which nba live kind of has a similar feature except if you cut them off in nba live and you just read stupid arrow then the guy just picks up his dribble every single time it's basically an arcade game but in 2k that's not really the case people can actually dribble in this game maybe not like 2k 17 crazy dribble but you can so just because the game tells you i'm going left doesn't tell you the like six move combo i'm putting together which is going to create space from us so you're not going to get that contact from just walking left like you think quick reflexes is just a terrible badge you you shouldn't need it that was definitely the worst badge i'm i'm trying to find other bad ones let's go with uh let's go with trapper i'll put trapper d just because it does serve a purpose the this other one down here just isn't really going to do anything to a good player this one at least it'll help you somehow um so trapper when you're in a situation where you're double teaming somebody it's much easier for you to like force a jump ball animation or get a steal out of it if you don't have trapper then anytime you try to rip in the double team situation it's just gonna be a foul that is if like they're not dribbling, they're just holding the ball in a triple threat. It's very hard to rip somebody in 2k in that situation without Trapper. Heart Crusher I will also put into D. Not good, all it does is lower the uh, opponent's takeover meter when you get a big block, which can help, does serve a purpose, that's kind of the point of D. So it'll sit in D. Next we have Moving Truck, I'm going to put this as our first C badge. So Moving Truck is the opposite of Back Down Punisher. Even if you don't have good strength, if it's even at like 65, but you're a big and you have this badge purple, a lot of people are going to struggle backing you down so it's kind of just if you want to fill out your character's weaknesses it does help for a lot of power forwards that sometimes are forced to play center at pro-am or maybe you're just a small forward that has to play big maybe you're a rebounding wing at the park or something you'll think about getting it post move lockdown is also a counter badge that's why it will go into c all it's going to do is help you defend some of the post moves in the game that's it off ball pest i'm going to put this into c sure i kind of wanted to throw that in the d just because i'll never use it but just gives you more body up animations off the ball that's all that is if you're a good defender you don't need it if you're a bad defender i guess but i wouldn't recommend it i don't think that it does enough to warrant anybody actually picking it up although it is a badge it is statistically going to do something so i kind of have to put it into c because it does have its usefulness whereas these are not really going to help you that much you're going to guard off the ball 
95% of the times, unless you're like a point guard at park. So I just think it's going to come into play way more than these uh, badges below it. Now, Tireless Defender, I will put this also C. I mean, it serves its purpose. It's not going to allow you to get as tired when you play D. That's going to help with offense too, so I consider it as a later badge in some of my defensive builds just to uh, be able to play D for the majority of the game. When I get tired in the fourth or tired before halftime at the wreck, and then your guy's not making shots, you're going to be down the floor, just all the bad things that come with stamina problems. Defensive leader, I'm going to put at B. It works in the same way that floor general does as it makes everybody on your team, except you when you're on the court. Uh, better at defense. So at bronze, everybody on your team gets plus one in every attribute, up to purple, which is plus four for every defensive attribute. Floor general being the offensive attribute. So just the fact of that, that you could turn some guys like 76 block into an 80, simply because of this badge. I think it does have too much use to be any lower than B. Next we have Rim Protector, that's going A. Everybody wants to block people. Rim Protector is the block people badge. It also gives you access to a lot of other animations that body up your defender and doesn't allow them to score even if you don't get a block. So for just general guarding the rim, you will want Rim Protector. Next we have Pickpocket. I am putting this into B. So I have a build that's very defensive and I've had Pickpocket Purple. And on park, it's always a fucking foul, and the wreck, it's usually a foul, even when I reach at good times. 2K steal system is just kind of broken right now. You're better off just running your knee into the ball than actually stealing it. So pickpocket doesn't really work the way it should. And because of that, it's not one of the premier defensive badges. It's gonna sit in B. Brick wall, I'll put this into B. You set screens a lot, you play twos, you play, play park, you know. You're gonna think about getting this badge to make your screens more potent. Get your guards open, get you open off the roll. Very simple badge, but it serves a good purpose. Very fundamental purpose in the game of basketball. The next is Interceptor, which I'm kind of leaning between A and B, but I'll go A just because I would get it between uh, before all of these other badges here. Sometimes even if you have a good steal rating, you're not going to be able to steal passes unless you have Interceptor, at least bronze. I like to have it uh, at least bronze or silver. If I can afford to with how many badges I have, I will get it golden, uh, maybe even purple for sure, just so I can snag them out of the air and, you know, cause a situation to where we can turn the fast break back on itself and we can get a bucket. So definitely one of the uh, more effective defensive badges uh, of this list. And Chase Down Artist, I'm going to put this into B. Although it doesn't really help if you just get beat off the dribble, it kind of only affects the transition itself. Having this badge versus not having this badge is a huge difference. If you have this bronze, you're going to notice that your character actually jumps the correct way. I have a guy who is six foot three, I never even touched his block. He has a 25 and I slapped on Chase Down Artist Bronze and now he actually has the chance to block something and not it just be a foul where he didn't even touch anybody. And I feel way more confident going up for blocks in transition now. And that's just with it Bronze. That's one point, it's not gonna cost you very much. And 2K transition offense happens a lot. A lot of people cherry pick online. A lot of people don't really have the patience to be able to think, hey, maybe I should stop and pull it out and try to get some uh, a better shot going. They're just gonna run forward and hope for the best and press the X button. So it actually would kick in more than you would think. Way more than like an actual basketball game would. Pick Dodger, that is also going into B. I like defensive badges, man. A lot of them are uh, pretty balanced. You really have to choose what type of defender you want your guy to be. So for Pick Dodger, obviously, when you get screened, you're able to hop around it much easier. You're not gonna really get caught in it much. It's kind of the counter to brick wall or just really the counter to screens anyway. If you're a guard, you play twos, you play against a bunch of cheesy guys, you will definitely think about getting it. Last is Rebound Chaser, which will break the kind of chain that I've created with these lists. We will have two S tier badges. If you want to grab a single rebound in this game, you should probably get Rebound Chaser. If you do not have this badge, your character is just going to hop off to the side where the ball isn't. The ball is going to be just out of your reach as you jump straight up instead of at the ball. It does kind of suck that you need a badge to do a basic basketball function, but because of how much it is needed, it will be an S tier badge. All right, I think I'm getting better at these. These are going pretty smoothly at this point, although this is the last one. Next up, I'm going to explain my sliders in the next video, and then I'm going to kind of start a series that I've been working on. I keep saying that, but it's mainly just me trying to gather a bunch of footage right now for it, uh, trying to play 2K in the meantime to, to get that footage, but of course I have to use the things I want to use uh, in the game instead of just play it myself. 
So I have to put myself in a mindset to kind of like search for those things. Like for example, one of the videos I want to post is about uh, how to guard a cheeser because it's actually much easier than you would think. I really am of the belief that if you play good basketball in this game, that you can beat people who just abuse animations. At the end of the day, if you adjust, they're not going to know how because they don't actually really know basketball the way I do or the way you do or the way anybody does. As long as you use basketball knowledge in this game i think it really does pay off i completely think a team of five guys who understand basketball well and also understand the controls of 2k well and just how it functions in general would totally beat a team that's just five out on you anyway i'm kind of ranting at this point thank you guys for watching if you want to follow my twitch i stream every now and then uh it's in the description if you want to subscribe i'm definitely going to be posting more i want to keep this channel active and i just want to continue to share my knowledge with you guys and let you guys be better at the game so that you can have more fun with it so until then get out of here